For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. George Orwell used to say, if you can get someone to agree that two and two is four, you can make a lot of other basic truths fall into place in your debates with them. Here's what I sort of use as that two plus two. Here's my two plus two. Everyone has some basic human rights that should be supported. Whatever they've done, whoever they are, they all share this. The right not to be tortured is one. Even Napoleon supported that. Actually, in a sense, you could say it's the, the right from which all other rights spring. You have to kind of look at it backwards. You work your way back from understanding that to understanding other things, like the fact that people shouldn't be taxed. If you can tax somebody, you can make them pay for things they disagree with, and ultimately you end up where the United States is right now, making them pay for torture. Taking a position against that sort of thing can be pretty powerful too because of the fact that you're defending even the government people, the worst government people, from that sort of thing. And of course, you should defend them actively if possible. I guess it starts with defending them from being lied about, from being physically harmed in the current context. When they know that you'll defend them, when they're un uh, uh, wrongly victimized, well, that takes us all closer to the day when we have our freedom. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to lrn.fm. Feds don't want you to hear them.